Hello, good evening. Certainly thank you for tuning back in to Poem Praise 2. And uh, we're going to uh, keep on moving right along. Certainly while we're going through this, peace and blessings be upon you this evening. Uh, next is PBS Pinchbox. Pinchback, I'm going to say Pinchbach, congressman, born 1837 to 1921, and it reads as such. Now, one of the most important leaders of the Reconstruction era was Pinckney Benton Stewart Pinchbach, the eighth of ten children. He was the son of a white Mississippi planter, William Pinchbach, and a former slave of an African, Native, American, and white ancestry. Shortly before Pinchbach's birth in 1837, his mother, Eliza Stewart, and her children were sent to live in Philadelphia. Now, when William died, Eliza Stewart and her children were denied money from his estate. Mm. To help support the family, young Pinchbach went to work as a cabin boy on Canal and Mississippi River boats. Now, at the outbreak of the Civil War, Pinchbach volunteered for the Union Army. He was assigned to recruit African-American soldiers, but soon quit and protest over the Army's discrimination against them. Taking an aggressive stand, Pinchbach demanded political rights for African-Americans, arguing that they should not be drafted if they could not vote. At the conclusion of the war, Pinchbach became active in the Republican Party in Louisiana. He was a strong supporter of universal suffrage, a free public school system, and guaranteed civil rights for all people. Elected to the Louisiana State Senate in 1868, Pinchbach introduced legislation outlawing racial discrimination in public places. In 1870, he established the New Orleans, Louisiana, a newspaper that remained in operation for 11 years. In 1871, he became lieutenant governor when Oscar J. Dunn, another African-American legislature, died. Then when Governor Henry Clay Warmoth was impeached, Pinchbach served as acting governor from December the 9th to January 13th. Now in 1872, Pinchbach was elected congressman at large and also U.S. senator. Both elections were contested, which was not uncommon Several African Americans elected to Congress were prevented from taking their seats. In a speech that outlined many of his principles, Pinchbach defended his election. Several senators think me a very bad man, but of what does my badness consist? I am bad because I have dared on several important occasions to have an independent opinion. I am bad because I have dared at all times to advocate and insist on exact and equal justice to all mankind. I am bad because having colored blood in my veins I have dared to aspire to the United States Senate. 
I have been told that if I dared utter such sentiments at these in public, that I certainly would be kept out of the Senate. All I have to say in answer to this is that if I cannot enter the Senate except with bated breath and on bended knees, I prefer not to enter at all. Mm. Now, Pinchbach was never allowed to take his Senate seat. Instead, he was given 16666 dollars to cover some of the salary he would have received as an active senator. Although he was denied his seat, hmm, Congress could not deny Pinchbach's importance in the struggle for civil rights. So I like that. Thank you for tuning in um, in regards to P.B.S. Pinchbach, the congressman. Hmm. Time period 1837 to 1921. And I'm going to keep it moving right along this evening, y'all. So um, at, le at least for a, for a couple more people because uh, next up is we're going to have Booker T. Washington, uh, educator, presidential advisor, time period 1856 to 1915. So we definitely have made it to the 1900s, all right. So certainly stay tuned, and I'll be uh, talking with you a little later. So in a minute, y'all, all right? All right.